what's going on starlights it's sunlight we're gonna get right into the video but i felt like talking about doing what makes you happy okay because i am right now at a point in my life where if it doesn't make me happy or make me feel some type of fulfillment joy peace it's just not for me i'm not going there okay and so um i'm currently going through some changes in my life that people are probably questioning but it's my life and i'm doing what makes me happy and i'm doing what makes my heart smile and i'm getting rid of things that just were probably weighing me down um, or tugging at me and basically you know it's a decision that I made right and so I'm wanting to tell you guys that you have to do what makes you happy it doesn't matter what people have to say it doesn't matter what other people's opinions are about you it doesn't matter if people talk about you it doesn't matter none of that matters guys because what goes on outside of you you cannot control you can't control that people are going to talk people are going to form opinions people are going to question okay but you can't control none of that you can only control what you have going on in your life and you can control your happiness okay I wanted to um, play this just so you guys can hear it and then I'll continue talking. If you wear nice clothes, people think you're showing off. If you wear simple clothes, people think you're poor. If you speak your mind, you're rude. If you stay quiet, then you're a coward. If you're successful, then you're arrogant. And if you're struggling, then you're lazy. You see, no matter what you do in life, people will always have something to say. So ignore people and their opinions. Because so long as your creator is pleased with you, who cares what people think? It, it doesn't matter. Guys, it really doesn't matter. You can't focus on what others will think when you are trying to make your life happy you're not doing it for them you're doing it for you right so i've already primed my face and did um and did my eyes for the most well you know i did the concealer part of my eyes i wasn't actually going to do a video but i was like why not i'm getting ready to go out and run some errands you guys already know if i'm saying i'm gonna run errands i'm probably gonna go shopping there might be a video there might not by now um you guys have been watching videos that i've been moving over from my smaller channel over here and i'm almost caught up with that <clears throat> And if you're watching this video right now, that means that you've already seen my try-on video. And I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's currently Saturday. I think it's the 19th. Yeah, October 19th. And it's 6.48 a.m. Okay, just to let you guys know, like, when I tell you guys I be up early and I'm as soon as I open my eyes, it's ching, 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 ching. I'm trying to get to the money, okay? This is why I tell you guys I barely sleep. Um, and it's like that at night too. But anyway, guys, I wanted to, and I'm also going to be using the Avocados palette finally. Okay. But I wanted to talk to you guys about wanting to make your life happy, right? And sometimes when you make the decision to make your life happy, it bothers people. It bothers people's spirit. Whoa, this is like really pigmented. And I'm taking a risk today, guys, because I never, ever, 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 ever do too much when it comes to eyeshadow. Never. So this is my first time. And I'm talking to you guys while I'm doing it. And it's probably going to look a mess by the time I'm done. But hey, it's my mess. <laughs> I'm 
doing what makes me happy. Okay. All right. And so I'm going to come over here and start my second eye as well, guys, because it's just how I have to do things. I know it's weird. Most people do one eye and then the other, but it's just the way I have to do things. Okay, so in making your life happy, guys, sometimes it's going to bother people's spirit. Sometimes people um, will talk about you. People will count shit for you, right? Like, for example, I live my life every day and I post or don't post, right? Whether it's here, TikTok, Instagram, whatever. I have days where I don't post. If you've been following this channel, you know I go months. And don't post because this doesn't make me huge money yet right my channel is very small and so it doesn't make me huge money to be honest with you this channel pays for my car insurance or a phone bill or something along those lines it's not a huge check with this channel my, most of my money comes from my job and my clients okay and people get confused with the channel and the clients it's not the same thing and i don't have to explain that i really don't um and i also have a business on the side that makes me a pretty good coin as well and that one is an anonymous business that I have with one of my clients and it has worked out very well because I kept it anonymous and it's fucked up to say that because it's like sometimes when people see you doing better than them they won't support guys and so sometimes you have to make a move as, as an anonymous person and your business will grow anonymously there's no face to this business that i have with my uh with one of my clients there's no face to it you can't tell who's running the account you can't tell what you can't tell nothing about what who's behind it and people are supporting that business it's crazy whereas i feel like if we would have put a face to it People would have been like, hell no, because it's true what, what they say. People want to see you do good, but they don't want to see you doing better than them. Huge. And that's fucked up because I'm like a huge cheerleader. If something has, if somebody has something going on, I'm like, hey, hell yeah, I'm supporting. I'm resharing. I'm do everything that there is to support someone, someone else, I'm doing it, right? And so this is why good things happen to me because even though I have a mouth of a dragon sometimes where I, you know, I can cut someone out in a second, my heart is good. My intentions are good, right? But, um, so let's get back to doing what makes you happy, right? I have chosen to remove Something that, that played a huge part of my life. And it's been a transition, guys. But I want to say that it feels very freeing. It feels very freeing and I feel very happy. I'm like zero stress now. <laughs> okay. Um, and when you remove something that plays a huge part of your life. And you realize that, damn, ever since I removed this thing, I've like been at zero stress. I'm a nicer person. I smile a little bit more. Um... Things just feel different, right? 
so you have to start doing things for yourself you have got to forget about what people are going to think forget about what people are going to feel forget about um what their opinion of you is going to be because you made a certain decision it's your life it's your life you have got to do what makes you happy guys it doesn't matter what anyone thinks. It doesn't matter what their opinion is going to be. It doesn't matter if you fail. It really doesn't matter. You're trying. You're trying. You have got to give yourself grace. And don't worry about failing. The failure is yours. It's nobody else's. You learn from your failures. But do what makes you happy. Please do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. I feel like a lot of people, um, are afraid of like comparison right they're afraid of well what if i don't make it and this person does right what if things just don't turn out the way i expected it to right you're already at that point removing the happiness and joy that you deserve because you're already going into this particular thing thinking negatively you've got to go into things positively i'm very intentional right so for example the changes that i'm making They come with taking some L's, okay? But you you go into when you make a when you're gonna make a big change when it comes to life, guys, you have got to play chess, right? You can't just take a leap. You have got to make a plan, be strategic and intentional with what you do, okay? So if you're going to make a change that's huge, make sure that you say, okay, when I do this, I know this is going to happen because of this. I expect this to happen because of this. I made this change and these people may not like it, so I know what's coming with that, but also what comes with that guys is the right people will come along some people will drop left and right they'll drop but the right people they're gonna come along eventually you just have to have patience and know what's coming my team of people that help me for example the moderators to this channel my co-workers right because these are things that affect my life Whatever happens with this channel, my moderators, they already knew what was coming. I already spoke to them about it. They'll let you know in the comments if they want to. Yep, we knew what was coming. I spoke to them about this a month ago. I'm going to make this change and this is what's going to happen. Be patient. Period. When it comes to work, I don't talk to too many co-workers about shit that I'm going to do. There's only one. And the only reason why I do that is because if there's ever a leak about anything of mine, then I know where it came from. <laughs> but me and her are cool, so I'm not trying to bash her. But there's only one person that I talk to about, like, work shit. But there's always someone who knows, right? Because it's not that you need other people's opinions, but you want it to be known, hey, I know what's going to happen. Okay, however, I'm choosing to make this move because it's something that makes me happy. Okay? 
when it comes to my personal life, my partner knows everything. My hubby, he knows everything. Okay? When it comes to my anonymous business, that partner of mine, she knows. We talk about things, right? So you can let the important people in your life know or not. You, you can choose not to, right? When it comes to this channel, I have a team of people who help me and I'm grateful for them. Okay? And so I feel like they deserve an explanation because they've been supportive of me for the longest. And so I explain it to them and I'm like, okay, this is what's going to happen, right? It's not that you need permission. It's just sometimes you, you know, you want to let people know, hey, look, I'm going to make this change. But it's the people that matter. Everybody else doesn't matter, guys. If they haven't been supporting you, they don't matter. Do what makes you happy. Be intentional and strategic with what you do before you make a move, though, right? You don't just want to jump head first. Say, okay, look, this is what's coming. When I tell you I have a list of over 130 things right now that I'm bringing to this channel. Content that's coming left and right, different shit. This right now is content. You're watching it. You're watching it maybe because you like makeup or maybe because you like this type of conversation or maybe you're choosing to do what makes you happy and you want to know maybe what steps somebody took or you want to know what, you know, um, what comes with it. It's not always going to be, you know, rosy, but you have to be strategic. Okay, this is what's going to happen. I already know. I can't let it affect it. What? I can't let it affect me once it does start happening. I live my life happy. Do I see the changes that are going on? Yep. Do I care? Mm, I kind of do, but I'm not going to let it stress me because I know that what I deserve, right? And the people that belong, they're coming. Right? Same thing with life. Whatever's going on there... I know what I deserve because I'm a good person. It's coming. Same thing with work. Compensation, growth, more money. It's coming because it's what I deserve. Period. I'm a hard fucking working person. Hard working. The moment I get up, it's work. Right before I tap out, it's work. Yes, there's time for personal moments, guys. Don't get me wrong. You know, I know how to schedule my shit. There's time for my grandchildren. There's time for my hubby. I go out. I was vlogging on the other channel. I choose not to do that yet on this channel. And I have privated those videos as well. Because I feel like a lot of people on this channel, they're not deserving of knowing my life yet. Okay? And so I have to, like, be very careful with how much I share. Because this is a bigger channel than the other one was. So I privated that. Right? But you have to know something is going to happen. Whenever you decide to make a change, it may be uncomfortable. Okay? It may not feel good at the beginning. But you have to take a risk. If you want to see change, if you want to see reward, if you want to see growth, there's going to be an uncomfortable period. You cannot expect everything to go well and perfectly when you're making changes in your life, okay? It's not always going to be that way and you are going to have to know to accept that. Okay, there's changes coming. There are changes coming. I'm about to make a huge change. People may like it. People may not. But it's my life. And I have to do what makes me happy. Be strategic with it. Okay. This is what's going to happen if I do this. Damn. Should I risk it? The answer should be yes. <clears throat> when you're choosing to risk when you're choosing to make a change, the answer should be yes. You want to take a risk.
there is no failure as long as you continue to try there just is no failure guys as long as you are trying there's no failure right and so a lot of people i've had people tell me oh my god like if i worked from home i wouldn't be doing shit i'd just be chilling all day Those people aren't successful. Those people are living the life that they want to live. They just, you know, they're happy with their paycheck. They're happy with being home comfortable. And I'm not judging nobody. If that makes you happy, right? Because we're talking about happiness. If that makes you happy to just sit there and be comfortable all day long, and living with your one paycheck, then that's what makes you happy. I'm not judging you. That's you. But that's not me. You know what I mean? That's not me. It never has been me. I've been this way since I was young. I've always been money motivated. There's always something that's making me push for more. And now that I'm going to be 49 in two months, thank you, God. And my goal is to live a certain way by the time I'm 55. I'm pushing a little bit harder. I'm pushing a little bit harder. I'm going to need a blending brush for this side over here because I don't want it to be as light as the inside, the inner parts. There's a process to everything, guys. There's a process to everything. You got to know because you're going to need a team, guys. You're going to need a team. A lot of the times we think, oh, I could do this by myself. Like I've thought about, you know, that a lot in my life. Oh, I, I can do this by myself, you know. You just got to know who to bring along with you. You got to know who you can trust. You got to know who doesn't feel some type of way um, because their life isn't going as good as yours, right? Because some people will do that. They're like, oh, man, if I help her with this, this bitch is going to be successful. And I'm just going to be sitting here in the background. Instead of thinking, if this bitch becomes successful, she's going to pull me up. Guys, I pull up my people. <laughs> it's crazy. I pull my people up with me. I'm not the type to ever get to a point where I'm successful and leave my people behind. Nope. Never, never have been that way. But you will notice, guys, who thinks that way in your life. And those are the people you unfortunately can't bring to your team. You can't bring them along with you because what they're going to do is they're going to pull you down. These people are going through a lot of things in their life that has made them extremely unhappy. And so they can't be happy for you if they're not happy with their own life. And it's like no matter how much you try to help, they have to learn to help themselves. They have got to learn to help themselves, right? And so I'm saying all of that, guys, to tell you to, listen, just do what makes you happy. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks. Make sure that you're intentional. Make sure that you are strategic with the things that you do. Know that when you are making changes in your life, there's going to be a period of, it doesn't necessarily have to be discomfort because right now I'm not feeling any discomfort. I'm very happy 
with the changes that I've made, right? But there's going to be a transitional period where you have to be prepared for it, you know? And if you're not strong enough, if you are not strong enough to deal with change, it may not be your time, right? It may not be your time to start making changes, right? You have to think, is this change going to affect my life in a big way? Or can I make this change and still sustain my life, right? If you are at a point in your life where you cannot make a change right now, guys, I'm not telling you to. I'm not. The only purpose of this video is to do what makes you happy. Make sure that what you are doing with your life is making you happy. You can have all the money in the world. You can have all the businesses in the world. You can think that everything is going to be okay because you are making a certain type of coin, right? But are you truly happy, right? Think to yourself, who's going to be on your team without envy? Right? And let them know. Look, I've, I've been trying to do this by myself, but I just can't. I need to run this idea by you. It's not that you're asking for their permission. It's not that you're going to do what they tell you to do. But it's okay to hear. Hear them out. Make a move. Enjoy the life that is coming. Expect people to change with you as well. And guys, sometimes people will change for no fucking reason. <laughs> Just for the simple fact that, you know, you're you're doing something different. And they're just, you know, basically stuck. But that's not your fault, guys. You are not to carry people around. Unless you're a mom, that's different. Of course, you got to carry your children around. But you are not to carry a grown adult around. Everybody has to be responsible for the decisions they make in your life. I mean, in their life. And the decisions that they make, guys, in their life, they don't affect you. They shouldn't affect you because it's their life. Just like the decisions that you make should not affect them at all. You got to trust the process. Be smart about things. Be calculated, strategic, intentional. Let the right people know. Let the right people know. Because just like there are wrong people, guys, there are right people. There are right people. There are good people, intentional people. People who have the best intentions for you. And they're cheering you on. And sometimes, guys, your biggest cheerleaders are people who don't even fucking know you, man. When I tell you my biggest supporters are people who don't actually know me, like, they've gotten to know me throughout the times, right? But they don't fucking, they're not 
part of my actual personal life. And they're the hugest supporters of me because they believe. Oh, sunlight. Oh, well, is it going to make you happy? Yep, then go for it. We got you no matter what. We're here. And these people have their own lives. They have children. They're married. They have their own professions. And they support. This channel, guys, if you are following me on this channel from what I was doing before, please know that this, this video is meant for you to hear that I'm doing what's making me happy. And I know what comes with it. And I'm not shocked by anything at all but I'm happy and this channel is going to be positive vibes this channel is going to be about makeup and me fucking up my makeup because I'm learning right I'm relearning because when I was younger I used to mess with makeup but I stopped this channel is going to be about positivity this channel is going to be story times this channel is going to be hauls right me shopping and showing you guys what i bought that's another thing people getting upset at the fact that i'm shopping with my money that i work hard for why are you mad that's weird that's so weird i had a comment from someone on the other channel that was like wow you're really out here showing people how you spend your money no, you guys only see the hauls. You don't know what else I do with my money. You don't know about my investments. You don't know about my savings. You don't know nothing. You know what I show you in a 30-minute video. You know what I want you to know. But why are you getting mad when I'm shopping with my money that I work hard for? That's weird. Like, you need psychotic help. But anyway, this video is going to, this um, channel is going to be fun, period. I'm choosing to have fun with my life. You will eventually start seeing vlogs again. I will take you shopping with me. I will share my hauls. I will share stories about my life that may make you happy. I will share stories about my life that may make you cry. I'll be doing try-ons with the clothes that I purchase from wherever I purchase them from. I'll be doing my makeup and talking shit just like i'm doing now but i'm gonna do what makes me happy and if that upsets you then you need to evaluate a lot of the things that you have going on in your life because I should be a fictional character. I'm someone on YouTube. I should not be affecting how you feel. I shouldn't. I'm someone on a camera doing my makeup, talking to myself, basically. And you're upset about that. It says something about you. Seriously, it really does. You're mad because I'm doing what makes me happy. How are you letting me affect you? That's weird. Get that fixed. For real, like if I don't like something, I change the channel.
If I don't like something, I'm not going to watch it. But you're constantly hitting play on my videos and it's hurting your emotion. Seek help. Seriously, seek help. If you get mad at someone else's happiness, it says a lot about you. And I'm not even trying to criticize nobody. It really does say a lot about you. And that you may need help and that you may need to search for your own happiness. And I'm not trying to dig right now. I'm like, literally, like, it's concerning. That someone else's happiness can make you so upset that you have to comment? I don't even comment like on the blogs or like, if I see something I don't like, I'm just like, in my head, I'm like, damn, but I don't even comment. If it's not positive shit, I'm not commenting. As a matter of fact, I do the complete opposite. Sometimes there are people who do their makeup and I'm watching them and I, I don't like the look, but I like the person. And so I'll tell them, oh my God, that's beautiful because I love them as a person. And so let me boost them up. But that right there is a happy person's behavior. When you can make someone else happy for no reason. Just because you want to see them smile. And I've even been at points in my life where I haven't been happy. And I still... We'll throw our affirmation out at someone. Happiness is important, man. Happiness is really important to me. It really is. You guys know I love me my Scandal Eyes Eyeliner by Rimmel. This is my favorite eyeliner. I got three on deck. I love it. It just goes right on. It goes right on your eye with no problem. This is going to be... Let's see how I feel once I'm done. <laughs> Once I'm done with this, because this is my first time actually um, It's my first time actually doing like a whole shitload of color on my eyes like this. But yeah, guys, so if you've made a change in your life, that has made you happy, 
let me know what you've encountered when it comes to like people's opinions right because the message that i played at the beginning of this video it's literally just telling you it doesn't matter what you do how much you try to make people happy damn i just fucked up this eyebrow i'm gonna fix it though no matter how much you do or try to make people happy, someone's always going to have something to say. Right? So if you want to make a change in your life, do it. And I'm using this brow pencil. I mean this eyeliner. as a brow pencil right now and I'm like so afraid and it's because I didn't pull out my brow pencil before I did this video and I don't feel like digging right now so I'm taking a risk right now <laughs> I've got to talk to my friend Bay about eyebrows and like learning how to do them because he's so perfect with it, man. But it's such a hard thing for me. Trust the process, guys. Trust the process. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so hopefully this message was informative. You know, I'm not trying to bash anyone. Again, you know, do what you do. Just make sure that you do what makes you happy. And don't worry about what others are thinking. If you want to get anyone's opinion, make sure that the opinions that you seek, they come from people who are cheering for you. I made moves that people, certain people who think they are close to me, they had no idea I was going to make these changes. Because you got to, you got to know who you talk to, if anybody, right? Because you don't have to tell everybody and anybody what you're doing. You just do what you do. You do what you do. I hope this helps someone. Just do what makes you happy, guys. Seriously. I know I keep repeating it, but do what makes you happy. What is your passion, right? What are you passionate about? At this point in time in my life, I'm just passionate about me and being, you know, me being happy with the people that are in my life. What do you want to accomplish? Right? Write stuff down. 
What do you have to do in order to accomplish these things? Paint, 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 paint. <laughs> Make a list, guys. That's one thing that I do a lot. I make lists. I'm always making a list. Step one, step two, right? Okay, so what's going to happen once I do step one? How might this affect me? If something bad does happen, how will I react to it? Am I really prepared? Am I really prepared if things don't go right for me? Whatever you do, don't give up. Things aren't always going to go right. You just got to be open to challenges. You got to be open to accepting that there are going to be challenges and knowing what to do once those challenges do come. Okay, so now I'm prepared because I put it on my list. I knew this was coming. Right? So I'm prepared now. Make a list, guys. Write it down. I write everything down. Trust the process, just like I'm trusting. <laughs> this makeup, guys. <laughs> and I want to thank you guys for being here while I do this. Because this, to me, green is definitely not one of my favorite colors. However, my outfit today is going to be green. Which I'll probably do an outfit of the day. Once I'm done with my makeup, I'll probably add it to this video. So if you want to see what I'm wearing, it's a very comfortable outfit.
So what colors do you guys want to see me try next? <laughs> the only way you learn, guys, is through making mistakes. You can't worry about who's going to laugh at you either, guys. The whole point of this video is don't worry about what people say. You do what you're going to do. Do what makes you happy. Because there's the only people that will criticize you or talk about you or try to make fun of you guys are people who truly aren't happy within themselves, okay? Not only are they not happy with themselves, they're not happy within themselves, okay? Different. It's a difference. All right. Let's do the lip. I wanted to do like a brown on the lip today, so let's see how this goes. This is Maybelline. Lord, I gotta put my glasses on. This is Maybelline number 120 Rich Chocolate, and it's uh, the Color Sensational by Maybelline. All right, number 120 Rich Chocolate. Now we're going to use the Gwen Stefani glasses. It's the Me, You, and Yours lipstick, and it is called All My Love. This is what we're going to use in the middle, I mean in the inside of the lip. Oh my God, I just love Gwen Stefani shit. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this shit smells like chocolate. <laughs> I haven't tried any of any anything other than her lip products, guys. But her lip products, look at this. This shit smells just like chocolate. I'm gonna have to do a review. I'm gonna have to because I have to give her a shout out. It's the consistency is thick you know it's going to last but you also feel it like it's drying off almost immediately so you know it's going to um it's probably gonna mattify in a little bit but it's also like feeling like i'm gonna be here with you all day girl how do you guys like the eyes i fucked up on the eyebrows i see that but it's a learning process but look at the lips. Maybelline and Gwen Stefani. A good fucking combo. Alright guys. So this is the outfit of the day. I hope you like it. The top is Timu. 
It fits me bigger than I expected it to, but it's very comfortable, so I'm going to wear it anyway. Here are my green sneakers that I showed you guys in the previous videos. I'm wearing some tights. My green bag, ready to go. All right. And of course, mm, never decline, baby.